filling out the same form over and over again should be considered to be a form of torture. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get pretty much any form to be filled out completely automatically and at scale. We're going to take a look at three different use cases. Number one, we'll take a Google Sheet with tons of rows, tons of data and fill out a specific form. Number two, I'm going to elevate the automation and click on a little tick box next to every row to get only that data in that specific row sent to the form. And finally, number three, we're going to step it up a notch. We're going to use artificial intelligence to apply for jobs for us and fill out the job application forms and hit apply. Cannot wait to show it to you. Let's dive in. Here I have a Google form for the Oscars after party. And I also have a Google sheet with the names of all the people that I need to fill out this form for. To make this use case possible, I will be using the workflow automation tool called Bardeen. The link is down in the description. I already have the browser extension installed. Let's open it up. And Bardeen comes with tons of pre-built playbooks and you can also type what you want done, a prompt, and artificial intelligence is going to build the automation for you. But for our case, I'm going to click on create to build an automation manually. And the first thing that we want to do, we want to pull all of the data from this Google Sheet. So I'm going to click on Google Sheet sheet section, get tables from a Google sheet. This sheet is called form filling without code. Let's select our tab form. So now that we have all of the data that we're going to be working with, let's fill out some forms, new action, and let's select the scraper app over here. And here I'm going to select scrape data in the background. Let's go to our Google form, copy the URL and open up Bardeen back up paste the link over here. And here we're asked to select a scraper template. I'm going to click on create new scraper template and select the currently open tab, Oscars ball, select single page. There's the name of our automation. Let's start building. And all I need to do is I need to select the field that needs to be filled out and click on input. Let's hit get data. So we have the full name, we have the email input we have the phone number. Here we have the multiple choice form. I'm going to say, yes, I'm coming to confirm attendance. It's going to be a click action. And finally, I'm going to accept the privacy policy. Also a click action. And very important, make sure that you click the submit button because otherwise nothing is going to happen. Submit button, click, get data, and it's done. I'm going to save this template. And now that it has been saved here at the bottom, we have using input data. So all we need to do right now is we need to map the data coming from our Google Sheets action to this scraper action or the form filling action. Let's map the full name, then the email address and the phone number. By the way, you can also type something for a static input, meaning that it's going to be the same every time this form gets filled out. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to click on done, click on done again and call it Oscars form. Ready? And let's run this automation with one click. Right now, Bardeen is visiting this form in the background, as you can see over there, and filling out the form. I also have this form open in the admin panel. And as you can see, the results are rolling in. We can also view them in this Google Sheet. And just like that, all 10 rows from my Google Sheet were submitted. Now, if I run this automation and then more people contact me and say, hey, Renat, I want to be at the party as well. How should I do that? Should I manually start filling out the form? Not really, because I have a perfect elevation of this automation. Let me show you how we can create a trigger to run this automation on each individual row. To trigger our automations, I'm going to create a new column and call it submitted. And then let's insert a checkbox just like that. Let's drag it all the way down. These forms were already submitted, so I'm going to mark them as submitted. And let's also add another column and call it date submitted, just like that. So when the form is submitted, I want to have a timestamp next to the form, just to make sure. I'm going to add a new row, copy gal's phone number, why not? And now let's elevate our automation. I'm going to open up Bardeen one more time. Then let's click here to duplicate it. Let's call it tick to fill out the Oscars form. Click on save. There's the form. I'm going to open it in the builder and change a couple things around. Let's delete this action that pulls the entire table from Google Sheets. And instead, I'm going to add a new action. It's going to be a trigger action over here. And at the very bottom here, I have the option that's called when row is added or changed. Change is the most important part in Google Sheets. Let's select that, pick our spreadsheet, form filling without code, select the tab, 
form. And now let's reconfigure the scrape data in the background action. And because we replaced the action beforehand, we'll need to remap the data fields. That's what I'm going to do. Let's grab it from the trigger action. We're going to get the full name, the email address, and the phone number. There is one more very important step, and that's a conditional block. Right now, the way this trigger is set up, it's going to fire when any row is changed in this spreadsheet, and we do not want that. Instead, we only want some changes to trigger this automation, specifically when we check that checkbox. So I'm going to add a conditional block over here, and this conditional is going to check a value in this trigger action. It's going to check the submitted box, and then we're going to say if that submitted cell contains the value called true. By the way, check is true, uncheck is false. And when it's true, we're going to automatically fill out the form. If you want to take it up a notch, we can add another action that will update our spreadsheet saying that yes, the form has been filled out. Let's add the Google Sheets action, update Google Sheet rows, select our spreadsheet. We need to specify which row needs to be updated. So Bardeen is going to search the rows by, let's do email, and then let's send the value itself from this trigger action. It outputs an individual row. There we have email address. I want to update this date submitted cell with the current time. For that, let me add one more action that will get the current time. There we have it. Let's go back to our update Google Sheets action, scroll down and send the time to the appropriate cell. Let's choose it in this format. Let's click on done, done again. And very important, enable this automation in the auto book section, just like this. Let's go back to our spreadsheet and let's submit this row. Magic happens. And that's how you fill out forms with data from individual rows. And finally, we've arrived to use case number three. We're going to have artificial intelligence apply to jobs on Upwork for us. And this automation is absolutely killer. Number one, we need to get the job description. Then two, we'll need to feed that job description to artificial intelligence to write a proposal on our behalf. And finally, we'll need to fill out the job application form for us. Let's go ahead and build this automation. I'm starting out with this Google Sheet with interesting jobs to apply for that I scraped just earlier. Let's check it out. This is the submit a proposal page. We have job details over here. We can click on the more button to see the entire job post, their terms. And when we scroll down here, we have our cover letter that will get generated using artificial intelligence. Let's go ahead and build this automation. Let's open up Bardeen create a new automation, pick Google Sheets, and pull the data from the spreadsheet. Form filling without code, then the tab is called AI. So we're pulling those links. Now we want to scrape the data in the background. Here we have the pages that need to be scraped. I'm going to pick action one and send the Upwork job post links like this. Then I will need to create a new scraper template. And this time, instead of filling out forms, we're going to actually collect the data, specifically the job description. Let's pick single page scraper and start building. Let's grab the job title, give this column a name, job title. Then I'm going to click on this more button, if it exists to expand, get the job description, call it description, and let's save this automation, give it a name, Upwork Plier. Next up, I'm going to add another action that will use OpenAI commands. We're going to create custom text generated with OpenAI. The format is going to be a freelance gig application. Then let's type out our prompt, write a thoughtful job application to this freelancing gig. Here's the structure. And then I'm going to click on this insert variable and feed all of the data coming from the scraper action. Let's say here's the info about the gig. Let's scroll down a bit. We can pick the style. I'm going to make it casual, make the application 250 words max. There's some application examples that you can add. I'm not going to do that. And finally, I'm going to select the AI model GPT-4. Click on done. So we've grabbed all of the application links in the first action. Then we went and scraped the data in the background and then sent it to artificial intelligence to get our super personalized AI generated cover letters created. There is one more action, the form filling action, and that's exactly what we're going to do right here. New action, scrape data in the background, visit those job posts one more time. Now let's create a new scraper template, which is going to be a form filling template, single page. I'm going to call it form filler, Upwork, start building. 
Now we need to get this form filled out and it's very, very, very important that you know what fields are required because if you try to submit this form without having all of the required fields filled out, then the form is just not going to go through. So for the cover letter, I'm going to input some data. It's going to be our application. And for me, because I tested this form before, I know that this is also a required variable. This is a new thing that Upwork introduced that gradually increases your rate. Let's click, let's select this field and make it a click action. And once that's clicked, we're going to select, hey, never increase my rate. Or you can make whatever choice you want. Okay, just like that. Get data. Finally, let's submit the proposal. Click action, get data. And as you can see, by the way, we tried to submit the proposal without these fields being filled out. Here we have the red fields. Those are the fields that need to be filled out. But as you saw, once we select never, this field disappears. We're good to go. Let's click on save template. And there we go. When we scroll down, we need to send the data from the open AI action to this form filler action. That's action three over here. Click on done, click on done again, and ready for the magical moment. Now, all of the job posts that we have in our Google Sheet are going to be submitted automatically on our behalf with one click like this. Let's check out one of those proposals submitted. The job post is from Benjamin Hamilton over here, the founder of Collect Paris. And if we take a look at our proposal, hey, dear Benjamin Hamilton, I understand that your primary challenge is to effectively utilize Google and Meta ads for the launch of your brand, Collect Paris. Again, you can play around with your prompt to make your application form exactly the way you need it and make sure that you have the highest converting job application post possible. Thanks for watching. You can try out Bardeen by going to the link in the description below. And form filling is just a part of boring, manual, repetitive work that we usually need to do on our computers. There are two more things that you can automate. Data scraping, click on this video, and data enrichment, this video. I'll see you there.